Hey guys, Super Cool Dave here. I'm currently playing the Human Resource Machine. This is year 36, and I'll be showing you how to get both the size and the speed challenges. In this one, the challenges are use 39 or fewer commands and complete in 109 or fewer steps. What we have to do is take the two words from the inbox, so un and until, or whatever that word may be, write them both down, and we need to outbox the word that is earlier in the alphabet so un untie um un is before untie because it's also got less letters so what we're going to do first off is we're going to copy from this box 24 for the 10 and we're going to write it down into boxes 22 and 17. we are then going to copy from the 23 and we're going to write it down in boxes 21 and 16. So if I hit play, you can quickly see what it should look like. So we should have three tens and three zeros. The reason we need that is we're going to use this one for counting how many letters each word is. We're going to use these ones for determining which letter is the longest. And we're going to use this one here for determining how many letters we finished outputting. Right. So first off the mark, we need to get the words out. So we're going to go to the inbox, grab the first letter. We're going to write it down into position zero. We are then going to bump up the zero and jump back to the inbox. And that should just endlessly bring out all the letters in one big straight line. When we reach zero, we know we're at the end of the word. So inbox, if it's a zero, we're going to jump forward. So now we're grabbing the second word. We need to go to the inbox. We're going to copy it to position of 24, which is row starting at 10. We then need to bump up 24 after every time we place a letter down. And we're going to jump up and go back to the inbox. Now, if we grab a zero out of the inbox, we know we're at the end of the run. So now we've finished getting the two words out, we need to start comparing them. So we are going to copy from the position of 21, which is a zero, so it's going to grab the first letter. And we're going to subtract it from the position 22, which is a 10, so from here. So this letter is going to be subtracted from this letter. Now, if it's a zero, we want to do this loop again. but if it's a, um, we want it this way around, just FYI. But if it's a negative number, we now know which word is long, um, different in the alphabet. So if it's a negative, we know that the first word is the one that is the shortest and or first in the alphabet. However, if it's a positive number, so in here, we know it's the second word. Now what we have to do is continue cycling through each letter just in case the first two are the same. So in this case, the U and U will be the same. So the way we do that is once we've jumped back up to here, we are going to bump plus the 21, which is the first word. And then we're going to subtract it from the zero which is in the 23. Now, if they're the same, we know we've reached the end of the word. So if zero, we know that the first word we finished checking is finished. Um, but if they're different, so this will be five letters, so that's up to five. After the first one, it will only be a one, one minus five, negative four. We're right, it's not gonna stop. It's gonna keep going through this code. So now what we want to do is check the second word. We are going to bump plus now the 22 and we're going to subtract it from the 24. Once we've done that, if they're the same, we are going to jump because we know the second word is the word that we want. Uh, I'll put it just under the S, might make it easier or above, it doesn't really matter. So now we've done that, 
um, and to say Nathan down up a match, it's going to continue going through this cycle over and over again until it will go all the way through determining whether one's bigger or one's smaller. But if we keep spitting out zeros, meaning they're the same, it's just going to keep cycling on to the next letter. Now we've worked out whether one word is bigger than the other, we need to output the word onto the conveyor. So the second word, for example, we're going to go to the inbox. Sorry, we're going to copy from position 17, like so, and we are going to output it. So now we know the second word is, it's going to look at the 17, which is a 10. It's going to go to here. It's going to grab whatever letters in here, and it's going to outbox it. Once we've outboxed it, we are going to bump plus the 17 to tell us to go to letter 2. But before we do any further, we need to now subtract it from this 10. So we need to check to see if we finish outputting all the letters. So we've bumped it to 2. Is it the same? And if it is the same, we need to just put a jump command to an inbox. It doesn't matter which one, just any old inbox. However, if it's not the same, we're going to use jump and we're going to do this whole loop again. Now, for the first number, it's basically exactly the same. We are going to copy from the position 16 and then we're going to outbox it. We are then going to bump plus 16 to get the next number that we need. But firstly, we're going to compare it. So we need to subtract it from 23. And if it's a zero, we know we've reached the end of the word. So we're going to jump up to an inbox. If it's not, we're going to use the jump command and redo the loop. We have now finished. That's the entire code. So if I hit play, we're going to grab the 10. We're going to make a copy of it here and here. We're going to grab the zero. We're going to paste it here and here. We're now going to copy out the full first word. So U and then the next letter. It's going to be an N and then Z, I, and P. So unzip. We now know we need the second word and it's going to write that. So it's going to write down the word untie. Like so. So we know the word finishes on position 5 and position 15. We're now going to compare the first two letters. They are the same. So we're going to bump it up. Have we finished the first word? We have not. We're going to bump this up. Have we finished the second word? We have not. So we're going to compare the second letters. They are the same. So we're going to compare. Have we finished the first word? We have not. Have we finished the second word? We have not. We're now going to compare the third letters, Z and T. So you can see I've got a positive number. So I know the second number is the number I want. So it's going to continue through and now it's going to copy the first letter and output it. Then we're going to bump this up. Have we finished the word? We have not. So it's now going to grab the second letter and it's going to continue this right through until the whole word is finished. So T I E and it's going to bump it up. Check. We have finished so it's going to output. We're completely finished. Here comes the clipboard and we can see 39 or fewer commands. We only use 38. And for the speed challenge, 109 or fewer steps. We did it in 103. Um, I hope you found this help walkthrough helpful and thank you for watching.